When you're working through any type of project, whether it's producing an event or designing a website, it often helps to break your work into tasks, or as we like to call them here at Basecamp, to-dos. In this video, I'm gonna do a deep dive into the Basecamp to-do tool to show you how it works and some features you might not know about that will make working with to-dos even easier. Let's get started. The first step in working with to-dos is to create a to-do list. So instead of individual tasks, you'll wanna think about the overarching list that those tasks are a part of. You'll click into the to-do tool and give your list a name. If you wanna provide any additional details, links, or attachments related to your list, you can do that here. You'll click add this list and then you can start adding to-dos. With each to-do item, you can simply add it to the list or you can give it additional details, including assigning it to someone who's on the project, indicating who should get a notification when the task is completed and setting a deadline. You can also add additional details in this notes section. And when you do, you'll see a small gray icon letting you know that there are notes included on that task. Mousing over that area will pop up a preview of those notes. Now, two things to know when you're assigning to-dos. First, when to-dos are given a deadline and assigned to someone, those tasks will appear on their schedule. They'll also get a notification reminding them the day before the task is due. And if the task hasn't been completed by 9 a.m. on the due date, they'll get another notification then too. The other thing to know is that you can assign a task to multiple people. It will show up on each of their schedules, just like if you were assigning it to just one person but the to-do can only be checked off one time. That works great if there's one shared task that multiple people are working on. When it's done for one person, it's done for everybody. But if you're trying to create tasks that each person needs to complete separately, you'll wanna make individual tasks for those. We have some examples and suggestions in our help guides, and you can find those at the question mark at the bottom right corner of your screen and just type in to-do. Now, when you're getting started with any project, my suggestion is to do a brain dump of all the to-dos that need to get done. Get it out of your head and into Basecamp. And not to worry, if you haven't figured out all the details as you're working through your to-do list, you can always add them in or change them later. If you hover to the right of a to-do item and click Assign and Schedule, that will open up the details and you can make changes right there. You can easily add multiple to-do lists on a project, each with its own tasks underneath the heading. And nothing is permanent at this point. You can easily drag and drop tasks from one list to another. You can also rearrange the order of your lists with a simple drag and drop. As you start to organize your to-dos, you might want to break down a list even further and create a sort of sublist. We call this grouping to-dos, and you can do that by holding down the command or control key selecting the items you wanna to group together with the three lines on the left and selecting group them. From there, you can name your group and give it a color. You can also create to-do groups when you start a new list. And there are a couple ways to do that. When you're viewing an individual to-do list, you can use the three dot menu at the top right and select add a group. From the list view, you can do the same thing by clicking on the three lines to the left of the list name. From either area, you'll be able to name your group, give it a color, and then add to-do items under that group. It's also easy to drag and drop to-dos from one group to another group. Now, to-do groups can be used for all sorts of things, like assigning priority levels to tasks, grouping tasks together by department, or even indicating the status of tasks. There's not one right way to do this, so experiment with what works best for how you like to work. Now, at the top of each to-do list, you'll see the number of items in the list, as well as the number of tasks that have been completed. At the top of the page, you'll also see the number of items that have been completed across all your lists. Both areas show a small pie chart to give you a sense of how things are progressing. Now, you have a couple of different view options with your to-do page. I prefer to see my to-dos in this list view, but you can change to the card view if you prefer. In the card view, you can add colors to each list and also rearrange the cards in any order that you like. From the card view, one click will open up the to-do list. One of the things I love about Basecamp is that it keeps all communication in one place, and this is especially true when it comes to to-dos. When you click on a task, it opens up that individual item, and any discussion about that to-do can happen right there. Just like in other areas of Basecamp, you can at mention someone to make sure they get notified. You can also add any links or attachments. 
all the back and forth on that one to-do stays with the to-do. And Basecamp even records when something has been checked off or a task has been reopened. So you always have the full detail. You can also see the number of comments on the to-do with the indicator just to the right of the item. Now, I do have a few tips to make working with to-dos even easier. And the first is bulk assignments. When you have several to-dos that you want to assign to the same person, there's a really easy way to do it so you're not having to assign each task one at a time. Just hold down the control or command key, select the to-dos that you want to assign with the three lines on the left, and go to Assign To-dos. From there, you can select the person's name and assign them all those tasks at one time. It's sometimes helpful to be alerted when a to-do has been added to a list. If you want to receive that notification, with the to-do list open, go to the three-dot menu and select Notify Me when to-dos are added to this list. With this setting on, you'll get alerted when a task is added to the list, even if it's assigned to someone else or assigned to no one at all. Now, if you have to-do items that are recurring, let's say something's due the first of each month or every Wednesday, you can have that to-do automatically added to your list each and every time. When you select a due date, go to the repeat dropdown and choose the frequency for the task's deadline. There's some pre-populated options, but you can customize the frequency even further with the weekly or monthly custom options. You can also choose when the recurring to-dos will stop. The circular arrows indicate that the task is repeating, and when a repeating task is checked off the list, the to-do is refreshed and the next due date is automatically shown. And my last tip is actually a to-do list game changer. If you're working with the same types of tasks over and over again, you don't have to reinvent the wheel and make a new list from scratch each and every time. Instead, you can create a to-do template and quickly start your new list from that template. To make the template, you'll click New List and then go to Use a To-Do List Template. You'll create a new template and give it a name. You'll add to-dos just like you would directly in your project. And when you're ready to make a new list in a project from the template, you'll go to New List, Use a To-Do List Template, and select the template you want to use. Basecamp will spin up a new list based on your template. One thing to note here is that your new to-do list will be named after the template, but you can easily rename it with the three-dot menu at the top right. To-do list templates work great for things that consistently follow the same steps, like publishing a blog post or a podcast episode, or even tasks that need to be completed each time you onboard a new employee or a new client. You can always edit the to-do template if anything changes by simply going to Use a to-do list template and then manage to-do list templates. Any changes you make will take effect the next time you spin up a list from that template. Okay, you're ready to go. Brain dump those to-dos, set some deadlines, assign some tasks. You got this.